Uh, my name is Sam Ortiz. I play with I play bass for with Cat and the Coyotes. Uh, so my name is Nathan Jaimez, and uh, the band's name is Cat and the Coyotes. Uh, I'm the drummer, and I like to play for Cat and the Coyotes. <laughs> my name is Joe Moreno. Uh, I'm the lead guitarist for the Cat and the Coyotes. Oh, my name's Cat. I'm Cat. <laughs> The Cat and Coyotes is something that, that pulls at my, my roots. And yeah, it's something that like music from, from when I started listening to music, I started listening to what my dad listened to. And the Coyotes were, were all about that. Bob Dylan, uh, Chuck Berry, Elvis, everything. I grew up listening to a lot of that and I, ended up, I, I, I idolized those people. So. Um, growing up being a Beatles fan, I, I guess I always loved like the group aura, like John, Paul, especially Ringo and George. And uh, so I guess rock bands, people laugh, they're like, how'd you learn how to play drums? Uh, rock band taught me. <laughs> but uh, The Strokes too is a big uh, output that I wanted to kind of do my own thing. So I guess Fabrizio Moretti is the main reason why, and Ringo Starr, why I wanted a drum. I was in the second grade and uh... I was in love with this little girl in second grade, and I wanted to learn guitar to, to impress her. And so I, I asked my dad to teach me how to play guitar so I could impress this little girl in second grade. And that's how it started, but you know, over time, I mean, it became more to me than that. I mean, that little girl moved on or moved away and to another school, and and uh, you know, it became something else. Yeah, it was my dad. Uh, my my dad uh, he used to play old records, tapes, CDs. It keep me up to like four in the morning. He was a teacher too. So like in the summers we'd stay up really late and uh, just listen to music and then he would tell me about growing up in the 50s and 60s and stuff and uh, yeah that was like my, my music education. Uh, so Sam was actually my high school teacher and uh, I had graduated in 2012 and uh, one day he just calls me and he's all like hey uh, do you still play drums? And I was like yeah I used to be in an oldies 50s and 60s band and uh, he's like well we need a drummer for Cat and the Coyotes and I was like I'm your drummer. And uh, that was back in 2015, so I've been playing with him for a good 10 years, I'd say. Uh, well, that's a long story. So I used to play with the blues band for a while, um, and then I stopped playing for a few years. And actually, the owner of that barbecue restaurant, Daniel, uh, I kept telling me, he's like, you got to come by and see my friend Cat. He plays acoustic. Just come check him out one time, like on a Saturday afternoon. And he just kept telling me over and over and over again. Uh, and then I eventually, I, someone wanted me to play a birthday party, but I didn't want to take on the the gig by myself, so I went to see Cat play, and then I just saw him out back, and I said, hey, are you Cat? And he's like, oh yeah, hey, what's up? And then that was it. We started a band. Uh, you know, Nathan contacted me, asking if I wanted to join. I said, I don't know. I already have another band right now, and I'm seeing June, and, and uh, we play alternative rock. You know, just like uh, original music and stuff. and. And he's like, well, we do original music too, man. If you want to join us, you think you can do two bands. And I'll, I, I don't know. I don't know how the, heavy the, the workload would be. But, you know, it, it ended up working out. Everything smoothed out. You know, it's, it's awesome being in two bands. And, and it's so much fun. It's all I ever wanted to do was play music. So. I've been writing music for most of my life. And when I got together with Sam, we were the first two people that got together for Cat and the Coyotes. The idea was to kind of just put together a band and maybe play some of those originals and, and hopefully find people that were willing to play, you know, once we started learning those songs together, maybe even writing together over over time. And uh, that's what's happened, you know. But the, with the word, you know, Cat and the Coyotes, that way there's, we could have a band that's a full orchestra or just four guys, two guys, you know. Um, so for me, it's just, but I mean, with this group, uh, especially right now with this, these three guys, it's really the core of the band. And you know, even if it's just me and Sam, that's like the, that's Cat and a Coyote, it's really Cat and a Coyote, I guess, but yeah. So the first album kind of happened through the pandemic and it was uh, kind of like a creative output because you know, nobody could work, nobody could really do anything because we were indoors. Um, I think our first album was all Cat's passion, just all his songs written by him. And I think we're working on just trying to get our sound a little bit more to the ground and then we'll maybe think about doing one or two more albums, but uh, it's really up to Cat. <laughs>
I, that was a dream come true. Um, when I was in college, my brother was in high school, and he had a band called Turbulence, and they were kind of like a prog rock band, heavy metal prog rock band. And I remember they spent whatever little money they had put together to go to a local studio here in town and record their album. And so that was back in the early 90s when they did that. And they were like 16 at the time. And I always dreamed of like being able to do that myself, like have a band that I was confident enough to like, hey, we, let's go put money into going to a studio and recording. So that was kind of a dream come true and finding someone to work with us that could man that board. And you know what I mean? Be behind, somebody behind a glass saying, okay, you ready? You know, and you know what I mean? And that was, that was, a, real, that was a really great experience for me to have a band that was good enough to like say, hey, let's spend some money and go into a studio and record an album. So it was a lifelong dream. Uh, I love this band. I love my bandmates. Uh, I want to say thank you to all the people who support our music and support what we do. Uh, without y'all, I mean, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing and, you know, we, we're, we're, figuring, we're finding new stuff, discovering ourselves every day and it's a learning thing, you know. Um, it's continuous and as long as we're willing to learn and adapt and adjust, we're going to be all right. Um, just a huge thanks to everyone that supported us, uh, the film crew that uh, decided to put this piece together. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, it kind of blows my mind that we have like a little following to back us up and uh, nothing but creativity. You, you surround yourself with people that are like creative and it's pretty awesome what can come out. But uh, thanks to everyone who's listened to our album on Spotify and uh, who's been a big Coyote fan.